How do you know when you're ovulating? When you're ovulating, the body goes through several changes that helps you identify the signs. Ovulation occurs typically around the middle of your cycle, but this can vary depending on your cycle length. Here are some common signs to look out for for ovulation. Firstly, changes in your cervical mucus. As you approach ovulation, the cervical mucus becomes thinner, clearer, and stretchier. This makes it easier for the sperm to swim through the cervix into the womb. Some women also notice more discharge at this time of their cycle. Secondly, there's an increase in your basal body temperature. Basal body temperature is the temperature when you first wake up in the morning. During ovulation, the basal body temperature slightly increases due to the increase in progesterone. This change can be quite subtle, so sometimes you may need to track it over a couple of cycles to figure out what's normal for you. Now, you may have heard of a word called mittelschmerz, or what we call ovulation pain. Some women may experience some mild cramp on one side of their abdomen during ovulation. For most women, this may only last a few minutes, for some it may last a day. This pain may occur on the side where the ovary is releasing an egg. Many women also notice an increased liking for their partner. This is believed to be nature's way of increasing reproduction. Many women notice breast tenderness or sensitivity leading up to ovulation. This is usually temporary and disappears after ovulation. Hormonal changes during ovulation can also lead to mood swings. These changes are often milder compared to the symptoms that you might perceive during PMS. Hormonal changes can also affect your skin. Sadly, that's not just our teenagers, it can happen later on in life. Some women may notice a small amount of spotting during ovulation. Often this is harmless. However, if you start to notice this or you're concerned about it, then please don't hesitate to speak to your healthcare provider. If you're trying to track ovulation, then you may need to combine some of these things that I've spoke about to help you pinpoint when ovulation occurs for you.